That is not a subjective call. How is this oh, subjective? Wow. Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. We're so glad you can attend. Come inside, come inside. Hey, the girls, boys, and everything in between, we are the shelter. Be time, be man, and we have you covered. We do. <laughs> Green Bay did not have Seattle covered for a full game. No, and you're wearing a Seattle shirt. You can't even stand Seattle or any of their players, especially Pete Carroll. It is a cool shirt, though. Come on. It is, it a is really <laughs> cool shirt. I love their jerseys. You're, you're, you're correct in your assumption. I do not like the Seattle Seahawks. I hope they lose in the in the Super Bowl. But a friend of mine me too. gave me the shirt, uh, a friend that I met in Dubai, so I figured I would honor him and the Seahawks because it was an epic comeback, down 16 to nothing, looking like Green Bay punched its ticket to the Super Bowl, and the Hawks just flew in and took it away from them. <laughs> they ate the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Who ate the cheese? <laughs> then they cut the cheese. <laughs> now we'll go over. We'll go over the first half, second half. Unfortunately. We were at a friend's house in the valley, and he did not take the game, and it went overtime, and we missed the last five minutes of regulation and the last touchdown. So uh, ah, it's terrible. We only missed the best part of the game. The other part of the game almost put me asleep. The moral of the story is: don't watch a football game over someone who is a diehard hockey fan. This is true. First half, it looked like Green Bay had every answer for Seattle. Russell Wilson looked like Flip Wilson. He couldn't complete a pass to his team, <laughs> but he's doing a great job throwing it to Green Bay. He thought he was playing on the Packers. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he likes cheese. <laughs> I don't even know how. I couldn't even stay awake the first half. The 12th man Warren. was non existent for the first 90% of that game. More like the 12th woman. <laughs> Green Bay looked in control. Lacey was having a good running day, a little change up with Starks. Aaron, while he was not as mobile as we were used no. to seeing him, he still made the clutch plays, and it really looked like it was going to be Green Bay against New England. They just couldn't get in the red zone. They had all those opportunities, and you're always saying you got to get in the red zone. You're right. You do. You get you in the red away. zone. You have to score at least 30%, 33% of the time. You have to punch it in. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Okay. For a touchdown, uh, going to the second game do we want even want to call uh, it a game I, I, well, that game that wasn't a game that was like a problem i'm still looking for andrew luck where is he <laughs> you guys see him anywhere the real andrew luck please stand no, please, please stand, stand out <laughs> uh pagano and the colts uh, i understand you were you were you were out man but it did not seem like the colts had a game plan it's like they put a spell Spiro. on them yeah uh, they just weren't ready no tom brady uh, uh, tom brady owns the colts and he does Andrew Luck doesn't own anything except a loss. Again, 0-4 against uh, New England. So uh, we're glad you joined us. Next week we'll have a Super Bowl preview. Uh, my hat, my heart goes out to Green Bay. Uh, it, oh, it was so sorry, good to Pat. taste it. You could taste the cheese. Oh, it was good cheese at first. It was really good. Seattle, congratulations. Uh, Pete Carroll had them playing loose. Clutch the throw to curse. And, in overtime, second year in a row, they've done something like that. And Russell, like all fantastic players, if you give them just a little crack, oh. they'll open the window wide, and they took the game from the Packers. Thanks for joining us, and Bye. we'll catch you uh, in the end zone.